Hi everybody. Uh, in today's lecture we're going to look at how to deal with optics in a mathematical way. I know just what you're waiting for, more math. Um, we've seen how we can find what type of images we have and what they basically look like by using ray diagrams, but of course a more accurate way is to do it mathematically. Now there are two basic optic equations that cover all of mirrors and all of lenses. Okay, so it says here concave mirror, but actually this is going to work for all of our optics. The first one, often is called the optic equation, says 1 over s, my object distance, plus 1 over s prime, my image distance, equals 1 over my focal length. Now, f is always going to be a positive value. This is a rule you have to remember for a concave mirror. It's also always going to be a positive value for a converging lens, as we'll see later on. Now, in the math, if s prime calculates out to be a positive value, it's a real image. If s prime calcul calculates out to be a negative value, it's a virtual image. Okay, that's how we can do that. The other equation is for magnification, which we already know is the ratio of the image height, h prime, over the object height, h. But it's also the ratio of the negative of the image distance, s prime, over the object distance, s. Now, if m calculates to be a positive value, it's an upright image. If m calculates out to be a negative value, it's an inverted image. Okay? So let's look at a couple examples. And this problem says we have a 5 centimeter tall object that is placed 8 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. Okay, a concave mirror, that's important, with a focal length of 10 centimeters. Now, what that means is that s is 8 centimeters, because that's how far it is in front of the mirror. h is 5 centimeters, because that's the height. And then f is positive 10 centimeters because it's a concave mirror. Okay, those are things you've got to remember there. Those are the rules. Now, to determine the image distance, that's where we need our optic equation. 1 over s plus 1 over s prime equals 1 over f. Now, this is one of those times, since everything's in centimeters, you really don't have to convert if you don't want to. So, we have 1 over 8 plus 1 over s prime equals 1 over 10, the focal length. Which means 1 over s prime is 1 tenth minus 1 eighth. Now, when you calculate out that fraction, you have to then invert it again. So now, if you wanted to, you could use common denominators here. Um, so you can use 40 as a common denominator. So you've got 4 over 40 minus 5 over 40. So that gives you a 1 over s prime of negative 1 over 40. means you've got to flip that over. It says that s prime is negative 40 centimeters. Now, because s prime came out to be a negative value, it actually means we have a virtual image. Okay? That's what, now, if s was positive, it would have been a real image. Part B, the magnification of the mirror. Now, magnification is h prime over h, but we don't have the h values yet, all of them, but it is also negative s prime over s. So the magnification would be negative, negative 40, the image distance, over 8, which gives me a positive 5. There are no units for magnification, positive 5. Now, since it's positive, that tells us that it is a upright image as positive magnifications are upright. Remember, virtual and upright tend to go together. But also, we can also see that it's clearly an enlarged image because the magnification is greater than 1. Now, using that magnification, we can now find the height of the image. Magnification of h prime over h. We have a magnification of 5 
and an object height of 5 centimeters, giving me an image height of 25 centimeters. Okay. So we found the image distance, magnification, and image height, and we've already described it. See, we found out that because S prime was negative, it's a virtual image. Because magnification is positive, it's an upright image. And because magnification is greater than 1, or the image is clearly larger, it's an enlarged image. That's all there is to it for that. Now, this next example looks like the same problem, except here, where we have an S of 8 centimeters, a height of 5 centimeters. We now have a convex mirror with a focal length of 10 centimeters. If it's a convex mirror, you have to remember that the focal length becomes negative for a convex mirror. Now, when we use our optic equation, 1 over s plus 1 over s prime is 1 over f, we have 1 over 8 plus 1 over s prime equals negative 1 over 10. So 1 over s prime is negative 1 tenth minus 1 eighth. So that would be negative 4 over 40 minus 5 over 40. So 1 over s prime is negative 9 over 40, which means s prime is negative 40 over 9 which is negative 4.44 centimeters. Now, since S prime came out to be a negative number, again, it's a virtual image. Okay? If it was positive, it would have been a real image. Part B, magnification, minus S prime over S, negative of negative 4.44 all over 8, gives a magnification of positive 0.55 meaning it's upright because magnification is positive. And clearly it's also reduced because it's a magnification less than 1. Okay, and then we'll see that with the height, magnification h prime over h, magnification of 0.55 with an object height of 5 gives an image height 2.78 centimeters. And that's basically how that works for the two types of mirrors. Again, keeping in mind that your focal length has to be positive for a concave mirror and negative for a convex mirror. If S prime is positive, it's a real image. If it's negative, it's virtual. If magnification is positive, it's upright. If it's negative, it's inverted. Now on the lens side, whether it's a converging or diverging lens, it's still the same optic equation. However, f is positive for the converging lens and negative for the diverging lens. Okay? And again, our same rules and equations apply. Whether images are going to be virtual or real depends on whether s prime is positive or negative. If m is positive, the image is upright. If m is negative, the image is inverted. So again, let's just look at the problems. Okay, here we have an 8 centimeter tall object, so the height is 8 centimeters, 15 centimeters in front, so S is 15 centimeters, of a converging lens with a focal length of 10 centimeters. Now, converging means a positive focal length. Okay, let's locate our image. 1 over S plus 1 over S prime plus 1 over F. S here is 15. F is positive 10. So 1 over s prime would be 1 tenth minus 1 fifteenth. So 1 over s prime, you could use 30 here as a good one. So 3 over 30 minus 2 over 30, or 1 over 30. And then you flip it over, which means that s prime is positive 30 centimeters. Now, since s prime here is positive, that means we're going to have a real image. Okay? Real image. Part B, magnification, minus S prime of rest, negative 30 over 15, gives you negative 2. Again, no units for magnification. Now, since magnification is negative, that means it's inverted. Okay? 
Now again, remember how real and inverted always seem to go together, just like virtual and upright go together. Also, magnification is greater than 1, so that means it will be an enlarged image. And then we can see that when we actually calculate that height, h prime over h, negative 2, h prime over height of 8, gives an h prime of negative 16 centimeters. And the negative just meaning that it's inverted. Okay? So again, we've described it. Real, inverted, and enlarged. Our last example, again, looks like the same problem with a object height of 8 centimeters, an object distance of 15 centimeters, but now we've got a diverging lens, and a diverging lens f is negative. You have to remember that. You have to remember that rule. 1 over s plus 1 over s prime plus 1 over f. 1 over 15 plus 1 over s prime is negative 1 over 10. So 1 over s prime is negative 1 tenth minus 1 15th which is negative 3 over 30 minus 2 over 30, which is negative 5 over 30. So if you flip that, s prime is negative 30 over 5, or negative 6. Negative s prime, virtual image. Magnification, minus s prime over s, minus negative 6, over 15 gives a magnification of positive 0.4. Now, positive magnification means an upright image, and it's less than 1, so that must mean it is reduced. Again, that virtual upright seems to go together, doesn't it? H prime over H, positive 0.4 times 8 centimeters gives an h prime or an image height of 3.2 centimeters which is clearly reduced. And that's basically all there is to it. Okay? Same equations whether it's a mirror or lens. Uh, again keep in mind concave mirror and converging lens have positive focal lengths. Convex mirror and diverging lens have negative focal lengths. If our image comes out to be a positive, it's a real image. If it's negative, it's a virtual image. If magnification is positive, it's upright. If it's negative, it's an inverted. And then you can sort of look whether the magnification is greater and less than the absolute value of 1 to see whether it's reduced, equal, or enlarged. That's basically all there is to it. All right, we'll see you next time.